Nice to see you all. <laughs> so, our topic for today is um, like stepping into the using of relationships for healing and just sharing, really, we're just sharing miracles and difficulties we're going through, but just like how, how we're moving through and yeah, I'm just very glad to share this experience with Ken. And I know today we have a lot to share. And uh, maybe we can start with a prayer. Mm. Would yeah. you like to share that? Yeah, sure. Okay. So if you would like to just get comfortable, just relax into yourselves. And if you wish, you can close your eyes. I do not know the thing I am, and therefore do not know what I am doing, where I am, or how to look upon the world or on myself. Yet in this learning is salvation born, and what are what you are will tell you of itself. Steady our feet, our Father. Let our doubts be quiet and our holy minds be still and speak to us. We have no words to give you. We would but listen to your word and make it ours. Lead our practicing as does a father lead a child along a way he does not understand. Yet does he follow sure that he is safe because his father leads the way for him. So it's just to remember that we're always being looked after. Hmm. And let him lead the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I can see too, like how everything just starts with a prayer. I feel that we've made like these <laughs> really, really huge prayers. And it was like a, uh, last week for me, I was in a point where I was like on my knees asking for help. I was going through a lot of specialness, and when I, 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 I knew that only my, my projects or that inspiration, only that inspiration that comes through that will make me walk through it and just get out of that hole. And with that big prayer, um, that's when this beautiful project came to me. Um, it, it was doing the website and supporting, finish the website for Awakening to Love Enlightenment Retreat that I think you might have heard already. <laughs> and yeah, that was, that was huge because at first it was just, okay, this, this is a project. I'm happy to be working with Diana and all this. But really, when she started sharing to me um, what this website really meant and the experience she was inviting me into I just knew it wasn't at all about the website it just like transformed completely um, yeah it was just very deep very very deep it's like I had this huge prayer in my heart and it just came like this wave like of love, of peace, and I don't even know how to explain it. There are no words to explain it. Well, before though, there was a struggle to, to even take it on. Yeah, um, it was, yeah, there was a little struggle before taking the website yeah, on. Yeah. But when I spoke with her about the inspiration of the website, that just lifted me up completely. Mm. And then, we received a call, a message, mm -hmm. and like all the, all the friends here in the community, we received a message and 
she was saying, okay, I, I am very happy to be in these beautiful preparations of this retreat, but I, I need help, I need support. And like after my magnificent experience that I was into completely like the experience of the retreat, <laughs> she was doing, putting out this call for support and it was funny because actually when I read the message, like the first time, like I just read the title and it said something like a call for support from, and I read Anna, I was like, what does it say? And then I read Awakening to, to Love, Enlightenment Retreat, and I was like, okay, okay, I'm just going to ignore that. It, no, I don't think it's for me. <laughs> Like, all oh, the resistance was there, and okay, I can, that can wait. And then, like, I had, I kept hearing it, and I kept, like, I even had dreams about it. Like, come on. And I was like, no, no, no. No, that's not for me. This is too huge. I don't want to be in something that huge. And no, thank you. And yeah, just like a, like a truckload of resistance or something. And I was going down with that thing. <laughs> I was going down. <laughs> well, the, well, the other funny thing was, is you, you also prayed that you wanted a real big project to put, your, uh, put exactly. yourself into. Yeah, you see how it all comes, like <laughs> with this big prayer, like I really asked for it, and then I'm saying, no, thank you. <laughs> I think we do that a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's like the answer is right in front of us. Like, no, no, I don't want to be happy or That's something. not how it was supposed to look. <laughs> that's exactly. No, that's not how I pictured it. Thank you. And yeah, it was just like a few, a few days as well went past. Yeah, from this, a few wasn't days. It? Like I was <laughs> drowning in hell for a few days, <laughs> just because I chose to. <laughs> but at the same time, I was praying, okay, let's just like give me, give it to me straight. And then I was like crying one day in the expression, and then Kristen just tells me, and. But, well, but what do you feel inspired about? What has touched your heart or something? And then it's like, it was so obvious in my mind. Okay, yeah, it's, it's the, the retreat. <laughs> what, so what was that, it, wasn't it the joining with Diana in the that beginning? Was That's after. what got you over the line. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was, that was before. But like, it was like the website got completed right. and then it was okay. I don't know if I want to come into this new part of leadership, <laughs> of leadership in, in sharing about this event and helping with all the preparations that are needed and registration and all this. Like, so, yeah, so that's what came. Um. And yeah, after, after that, like after being in that hole, I had my call with Diana. And then it's like, yeah, and no, I, I actually really felt you from the beginning. Like, I knew it was for you. And I said, yeah, I knew it was for me too. <laughs> but I was just resisting and I was going down. And as soon as I had that call, it was like an explosion of mm. inspiration came through. Mm. And I was so happy, so happy, so happy. Okay, so that got me, got me over the line <laughs> and turned me to feel inspired and and everything, and then one day she, she called me again, and she said, Anna, you need to take this on. And I was like, so, so, so what is it about? Like, Anna, this, you said a yes to your healing. You said a yes only to your healing. What is the gift that you're gonna get from this? This is not about a retreat. What is your motivation? What is your gift? What is the process you're going through? And it was so clear that it was this project came only for me to heal this huge pattern in my mind of not speaking up, of being in weakness, not speaking what I'm hearing from the spirit and like all this doubt and all this um, fear. And it's like, I've been trying to be like nice, but in a way I'm just compromising and people pleasing. And that just makes me feel very bad, very, very bad. 
and it just feels like this is the moment that I can move through it. This will help me move through it. And yeah, like it's been really beautiful because it, it is this process. For me, speaking up, speaking up, saying when, when I feel angry, saying when I don't feel something, because that's scary. Mm -hmm. Like showing myself even to you or mm -hmm. the, the lovely people that live in our house right now. Like just sharing like, I'm like, I'm angry or I feel this or, or the other thing. It's just like jumping off the cliff every single time. And I think you saw my email <laughs> on Thursday, which when I was just inviting everyone to see the product of this beautiful, beautiful collaboration of this website and this retreat. And I can remember feeling so shaked up about it. Like, I was like, okay, like, I, I know I need to take this step. This is jumping off the cliff. I had the email in front of me. And I was, okay, I need to press this button. Mm -hmm. I need to take this step because this is my step into the strength that I'm looking for. This is my prayer and it's being answered. And these are the steps. So, yeah, I pressed send mm -hmm. and it was a huge, mm -hmm. huge thing. And I just feel like I keep doing that and I keep doing that every moment, every day. Here in the show is the same thing. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. but I can see that my speaking up is not only for me, like it has brought a lot of healing for my brothers, mm -hmm. for you, Ken. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want to share more about yeah, it? Yeah, I can share. Yeah, um, it's kind of interesting, this dynamic, because I find it hard if someone gets stern with me and I can get aggressive back. I find it, I feel like it's an attack. So I'm really learning to surrender. Um, and to stay down in a way, there's a part of me that just wants to uh, attack. And um, so Anna's coming into her strength and then it was like, I don't like this. You're not going to be telling me what to do. <laughs> so this has been a dynamic that's been coming up. <laughs> so it's so funny. It's like she has to do this and I'm like holding on for dear life. <laughs> OK, just relax. It's not personal. Um, yeah, and there's like, for me, like some, some sort of like softness wants to come through that I've never really known about myself. And so it feels like the complete unknown um, as to what I'm stepping into, really. Um, so that also brings up this fear of like, well, if I'm not going to be dominant, then I'm just going to be walked over. And how do I hold my strength, but without being aggressive and angry? And so I'm just feel in this complete conflict in my mind of like, well, how, how the hell do I do this? I'm just in a complete new area. And just been with my prayers, like before it's always been my own strength. I know that's carry, carried me through, but it's like there's a new strength that, that needs to come through. And so that's like my prayer to say like, I don't know how to behave. I don't know how to change this attitude. I don't know how to draw upon your strength. And the interesting thing that's come from all of this for me is around support. And I think that's like a major, major thing mm. that I'm just not going to be supported at all. And it will all come crumbling down and it will be down on me. So I've got to hold on to my position. So yeah, there's, there's an extreme amount of fear with this like support. And it's really interesting because the project that I'm working on at the moment is, is it hitting a bit of a brick wall. It's um, basically we're building a new bot, which will be really amazing and really supportive of like everything. The things that it's going to be able to do is like amazing, but it feels so far out of my comfort zone that I feel worthless. I feel unworthy. I feel stupid. I feel humiliated when things aren't going right. Um, so it's just bringing up all of these feelings. And this tool is like, in my mind, it's like, okay, why am I doing it? And I think, well, you know, Course in Miracles can be very difficult when you first start. And so my kind of goal with it is, is like, imagine like when I first started out and it's like, no, I've got this bot for you that can give you all of this support step by step 
and give you all these amazing tools to really, really like help your mind. So everything that I would want for support, this is what I want, I want the bot to do and to point you in the right direction so you can have it literally at your fingertips and it'd be so simple, mm. so easy. And even like I'd be in the background so a human, seeming human can support as well. And then I was just looking at it thinking, wow, it's so funny that like I have all this energy to give to support. And yet if the support starts coming seemingly this way, it's like, no, that's, that's not for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's so exactly it was what just you're like asking so for. so hilarious to see this. Like, no, I really want to support. <laughs> no, no, you don't support me. No, no. <laughs> no, that's not okay. I'm going to build this bot to support everyone. <laughs> it's just like so funny that I couldn't even see it. I only just saw it a minute ago. And like so much healing is coming up. Like I can see like really, it's not anything to do with that. It's just this complete unworthiness. Mm. Yeah. Um, this stupidness that, that, that I feel is like hitting up against this brick wall. It's just like, I just don't know where to go other than to go inward. And it's like, I'm... Um, exhausting all my old resources until finally what I read in the beginning I do not know the way so it's like it feels like that like I just don't each time it's like another step into I don't know I actually don't know what how I'm gonna how the hell I'm gonna get out of this seeming mess in my mind and the funny thing is is like completely forget the miracle when you're like bogged down mm. it's like no it's all my terrible doom my unworthiness mm. Mm. and yet the faith and the miracle will carry us through and so that's what we wanted to wanted to share about about next didn't we yeah like yeah we have like two minutes so i just wanted to also say like even with this healing that i'm going through and speaking up the things that are coming up for you mm. It's just like these dynamics that are just clashing and helping, <laughs> helping. And it's been really beautiful that there are days where I'm just down and he's like strong. And there are days in, you, in which you are down and I'm, come on, let's go. And yeah, it's, it's been really beautiful to see how, how the support from Mighty Companions just come to hold our hand mm. and walk through this together, mm. really. I'm very grateful. Yeah. Very, very grateful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was laughing this morning because my, my seeming spiritual journey, Kenneth's idea was being a monk. Eventually, I'd have my own little shack somewhere <laughs> in the Buddhist monastery, and I'd be there on my own, no one to disturb me, no one to bother me. And it's like, no, you're in communication all day long with people oh my god this is complete and utter hell but <laughs> this is this is my way out and it's like in us all joining together today it's like you are our mighty companions we are all in this together and i know i really need you i need you all <sighs> so i'm very grateful that we're that we're doing this mm -hmm. together on these beautiful Sundays that we come together and I'm sure that you're all going through your healing mm. as well and that's what I want you to know that you're not on your own in this that we're going through together mm. <sighs> oh dear so yeah with this in our hearts, we would like to invite you in, into this prayer. Um, yeah, we are just praying for miracles. That's all we're asking for. Yeah. We deserve them and we just keep praying for that. The miracle carry us through anything, mm. anything. Mm. Yeah, so as the always, freedom. yeah, freedom, yeah. The freedom, we want the freedom from these deep patterns. We want to stop being a slave of them, so. Yeah. So yeah, we are inviting you into this prayer. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, so whatever's on your mind that needs to be cleared, um, or even if there's nothing there, we can just all really be together knowing that we are together in this.
and that we do need to hold each other's hand through these times and remember the joy together. Mm. So I'd like us to share in this lesson. So if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes. I am entitled to miracles. Today we will claim the miracles which are your right since they belong to you. You have been promised full release from the world you made. You have been assured that the kingdom of God is within you and can never be lost. We ask no more than what belongs to us in truth. Today, however, we will also make sure that we will not content ourselves with less. Begin the practice by telling yourself quite confidently that you are entitled to miracles. Remind yourself that you're asking only for what is rightfully yours. Remind yourself also that miracles are never taken from one and given to another. And then that asking for your rights, you are upholding the rights for everyone. Miracles do not obey the laws of this world. They merely follow from the laws of God. After this brief introductory phase, wait quietly for assurance that your request is granted. You have asked for the salvation of the world and for your own. You have requested that you be given the means by which this is accomplished. You cannot fail to be assured in this. You are but asking that the will of God be done. In doing this, you do not really ask for anything. You state a fact that cannot be denied. The Holy Spirit cannot but assure you that your request is granted. The fact that you accept it must be so. There is no room for doubt and uncertainty today. We are asking a real question at last. The answer is a simple statement of a simple fact. You will receive the assurance that you seek. I will not trade miracles for grievances. I want only what belongs to me. God has established miracles as my right. I will not trade miracles for grievances. I want only what belongs to me. God has established miracles as my right. I will not trade miracles for grievances. I want only what belongs to me. God has established miracles as my right. I am entitled to miracles. I am entitled to miracles. I am entitled to miracles. Each day a thousand treasures come to me 
with every passing moment. I am blessed with gifts throughout the day, in value far beyond all things of which I can conceive. A brother smiles upon another and my heart is gladdened. Someone speaks a word of gratitude or mercy and my mind receives this gift and takes it as its own. And everyone who finds the way to God becomes my saviour, pointing out the way to me and giving me his certainty that what he learned is surely mine as well. I thank you, Father, for the many gifts that come to me today and every day from every son of God. My brothers are unlimited in all their gifts to me. Now, may I offer them my thankfulness, that gratitude to them may lead me on to my Creator and His memory. Wow, thank you so much for joining us in the prayers. Thank you. We walk <sighs> hand, hand in hand mm. together. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's so good to see you every Sunday. Mm. <laughs>